is breaking news on WDSU. And of course, right now, breaking traffic news as we're seeing a big problem on the Crescent City Connection Bridge. Let's get right to traffic anchor Deja Brown with the latest on this. So Deja, how is this affecting folks commute this morning? Well, Daryl, Randy, people who are traveling inbound from the West Bank are going to see some delays building specifically on their approach to Terry Parkway this morning because we do have a right lane, initially right lane, now two right lanes blocked eastbound on the Crescent City Connection due to an accident involving a diesel fuel leak. So initially we saw the right lane blocked emergency crews now blocking the right lane. So traffic only getting by in that left lane there and we are starting to see delays building rather quickly. So if you're traveling from the West Bank this morning, if you don't have to leave, give yourself a little bit of extra time, maybe have that extra cup of coffee because we we are seeing delays building quickly as you travel between Terry Parkway over to the Crescent City Connection. We're seeing about 20 minutes worth of added drive time there because we are seeing standstill traffic as you approach near the Crescent City Connection. Now drivers are starting to get over, so that is the good news, but we are starting to see speeds varying. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the map so we can track those delays for you. But again, they are extending back towards Terry Parkway this morning, so keep that in mind as you're heading out. Also still dealing with a crash at the intersection of South Carrollton Avenue and Jeanette Street that has a right lane block due to a vehicle vehicle hitting a tree there, but our big problem continues to be eastbound on the Crescent City Connection to right lanes blocked due to an accident involving a diesel fuel leak. So keep that in mind. Damon, I'll send it over to you.